Good evening, everyone. Can I invite you to come forward and join the opening of this wonderful exhibition? Having got these chairs at vast expense, we might as well use them for the duration of the opening. Please come and sit. Please be at ease. <laughs> You are very welcome to another opening at the Lilavati Lalbai Library Exhibition Center. As you know, what we're focused on here is not just housing books and processing that, which happens through Teta Swinimam and her wonderful team with great efficiency, but the exhibition center is dedicated to promoting excellence across all our disciplines on the faculty, on the, on the campus. And if people within the context of their studios are learning about the nature of whatever it is they've committed to, that's an academic engagement. This is a professional engagement. And so what we're focusing here on is training students to, to think and then to see the demonstration of what a profession is. So in the exhibition center, we're hosting exhibitions across disciplines that enable them to see that whatever effort they make uh, academically can be manifest and demonstrated here in the Exhibition Center. So we're very happy today to uh, present uh, Sonal Sanchetti and Rahul Gore, who are hosting and curating the exhibition focusing on the work of Fumiko Maki, the Japanese architect who won the competition to build the Patna Bihar Museum. And so what this exhibition is about is designing and making. So what it takes to design architecture and what it takes to make architecture. So in this case, Fumiko Maki was responsible for designing the building, but it was through the association and collaboration of Opolis in the, uh, uh, with Rahul and Sonal uh, that this bu building actually happened. So that's what uh, this exhibition celebrates, and indeed also an understanding and a presentation of their work itself. So what have they understood and engaged with as architects? Uh, we're very happy to welcome them back to the campus because they're both uh, alums, pass outs of SEPT, and it's uh, very, very happy for us to know that whatever they began with is now ending up here and continuing. So without further ado, I'm going to invite them to introduce themselves and briefly uh, place this for us, and then uh, our wonderful president, Bimul, will open the exhibition. So thank you to Sonal and to Rahul. Good evening, everybody. And it's strange to be on this side, on this ground. <laughs> so I'm nervous, believe it or not, because I've been always on that side on this campus. But 1995, um, I was doing my thesis here. And Professor Shimizu from Japan came down to give a talk and saw my work in Japanese architecture that I was studying at that time for my thesis. and. 1996 was my first trip to Japan with his association and my first meeting with Fumi Omaki, whose work I was studying for the thesis. So little did I know in 1996 that uh, almost 20, 25 years down, I'll be collaborating with him for this museum. So it is uh, immensely, I mean, something that started as a thesis ended up in this collaboration, I must say. And so the seeds were sown here and um, um, it's been a very interesting journey, which I think briefly um, the exhibition really uh, we've tried to put together how th we went about this. And um, I think, um, yeah, so uh, maybe Raul can speak a little more about what the exhibition is, but uh, happy to be <laughs> very <laughs> honored to be invited to exhibit our work and uh, be at SEPT again. Thank you. So good evening. Uh, thank you to SEPT University and uh, the library in particular. Arthur has been coordinating. Uvi has been fantastic uh, working out on the exhibition. So uh, hopefully everybody can see what uh, we've been up to. Uh, I'll just briefly say how we went around. I mean, why why show this project? Because I think it's one is a, it's a, an important project that happened in India. If you s in in terms of the architectural uh, scenario, where an, uh, foreign architects collaborated with an Indian architect, there was an uh, opportunity, we approached Maki because uh, obviously we were not uh, qualified enough to 
pitch for this project, and Maki happily agreed. Uh, so that was the trust that he showed in us, and I think it manifests itself once we complete the building. And what happens in between is it's it's a lot of work. Uh, it has a lot of trust involved, and uh, I think uh, faith between two practices. So I think that's uh, one of the key factors that goes into any collaboration. Uh, but more importantly, people ask us, you know, what was Opolis's role? I mean, it's not that we were just a kind of doing working drawings of things. So I think we were involved in Maki's office in 98, 99, for a period of one year I worked there. And um, that was very instrumental in developing the con uh, confidence in Mr. Maki. And uh, uh, the two prime architects who were working on this project were my colleagues there. They used to be, we used to be sitting together. So I think the uh, communication had already been set up almost 18 years ago. Uh, and that helped in kind of, uh, uh, taking it further, especially with the government as a contra as a client, it gets very very tricky. So uh, those those parameters, I think, uh, with that kind of uh, uh, background, we entered this competition uh, with uh, very little experience working with government, and it was um, a, a pleasure to uh, learn along the way. Uh, we had, uh, in fact, I had asked Bimal, and uh, he had guided us on how we should go. So one of the key things as we developed. Uh, the project was uh, to, you know, the procurement, how to advise on that. And uh, with Mahindra Raj as a structural consultant, we went in with a lump sum contract for a government building. And I think uh, that there are a lot of positives in that. There were a few negatives. And hopefully, I think because of the positives, we could finish the building very fast uh, in a tight time frame. So we started construction in 2013 and ended up uh, finishing in two 2017. So that's a four-year uh, construction period. Uh, before this, the, the, uh, the, the competition itself was uh, held in late November 2011, and uh, there were five architects. Uh, so there was uh, uh, Maki and uh, Opolis together. Uh, there was Norman Foster uh, along with uh, Kukreja Architects. There was um, uh, Koop Himmelblau along with uh, uh, Art Com, another sept, uh, Saurabh Gupta from our school, and then uh, Daniel Libiskin with Morphogenesis, and Snoheta with um, Space Matters. So I think it was a very interesting mix, and I, uh, on the jury was Professor Chaya as well, and uh, he, uh, I mean, he, he has his own story as to how they judged it, but I think uh, one of the prime reasons our scheme went through was uh, because of the idea of a collective form, which uh, Maki's been pursuing for several years, right from uh, his experiments uh, uh, in Daikanayama district in Japan. So those things were manifest in this project, and I think those helped in uh, uh, the competition intent and uh, building, bringing it through. Thereafter, kind of uh, the project went through concept and schematic in uh, Maki's office, but basically design development and working drawings happened in our office. So I think the complete transfer of uh, data and uh, responsibilities is very important. And I think that uh, Maki's team, having worked on several international projects, could adapt it to the Indian scenario very well. And uh, that's where we kind of came in and uh, made sure uh, that the project uh, went through uh, all the diplomat, uh, all the political hurdles, the bureaucratic hurdles into execution and uh, managed to uh, get it executed in uh, quite a quick time. Uh, so I think uh, the exhibition itself is uh, broke. It's, it's got two parts. It's uh, the Bihar Museum as the main project. Uh, it's around 80%, 90% of the exhibition. And around uh, some part is also some projects that we've been associated with along the, in the last 18 years of our practice. And uh, that's somewhere that uh, uh, it consists a lot of houses, which uh, I think have given us an opportunity to pursue a style or a, a philosophy of design and really evolve over the years. So you'll see that. And then the main B uh, Bihar Museum exhibition itself is uh, broken into six parts, um, seven parts, one with the introduction, which kind of puts the uh, project in uh, its context. And then it starts looking at the parts itself. So the entrance area, which was where the main design, uh, uh, the design, uh, what did I say, the focus was, a lot of energies went in the entrance area. And then the children's galleries, the main galleries, and uh, what we've called the cloisters. They are the connections uh, between all the galleries. They're a very important part. And then there's, of course, the landscape with courtyards. So I think uh, we've got two models uh, of the BR Museum in there. And uh, what's unique in this project is I think there are seven courtyards. Uh, so Mr. Maki has done a lot of museums, but this is his largest museum. Uh, so the, uh, and being in India, uh, courtyards were the natural way to kind of uh, uh, work with the climate and the noise. In Patna, it was tremendous. So we've got uh, the whole design weaves itself through courtyards. So I think that's a recurring theme, and you'll see that in the exhibition.
Yeah, so with this, I would love to get all of you all to come in and see the space. I just want to add uh, one or two points. Uh, one is that uh, in the Japanese way, uh, once the project begins at site, the site architect moves to the site. So we had our team, we had four of us from Opolis move to the site and set up an office there for a period of four years. And uh, that really helped because to finish a project of this scale in a period of four years was a big challenge. And I must say the the workmanship that we achieved is incredible for a government project. So um, thank you to our team who has uh, really worked on this and also the team of Opolis who put the pro um, exhibition together. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sonal and Rahul. And can I invite Bimal to do the honors? <laughs> Static. Static, I think. Um, we need to get a stand for this Jirayu. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Some, something that people can use. Um, well, first of all, uh, Sonal and Rahul, thank you very much for making all this effort to bring this exhibition here. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, I know how much effort it takes to put something up like this, and this is really a wonderful way in which you are giving back um, to set. So thank you, thank you very much. Um, I, um, I know of course of this museum, I've unfortunately not visited it myself, um, but I know that it's immensely successful. Uh, they are all very proud of it in Patna. I had gone there once for a visit uh, with some presentation to the chief minister and he insisted after the meeting that we see, the, see this museum uh, a, a before we leave. Uh, we didn't manage to see it, unfortunately, uh, but I could see that uh, he really was very proud of this. And then a few weeks ago, somebody came and, uh, you know, unrelated, but showing me pictures on their phone. Have you seen this museum? You cannot believe that there is something like this in the country. And, and, and so people are really proud of it. So um, we're really proud as uh, as SEPT that we have, I mean, that we, that, that the SEPT alums have been involved in doing this. And so thank you for that terrific, terrific work. And I'm looking forward to seeing the exhibition, which was up yesterday. I resisted the temptation to go in and check it out. I said, we'll see it after it's, it's really finished and it's open. Uh, so. Thank you, and thank your team for doing this. I also want uh, to take this opportunity to um, thank the people here who are responsible for um, s for making this. Uh, and I'll, I'll start first with Urvi and her team who are, you know, who put up these exhibitions. Every time you put up one like this, uh, it's a lot of effort, and uh, it's uh, slowly, they're getting into the groove, and uh, she has promised me that uh, she is, you know, that the downtime for this exhibition space is going to be as little as possible. Uh, you know, they they had taken down the earlier exhibition. The place was empty, and I asked her, and I said, uh, "What's how do you manage this?" She says, "Yeah, we last week we took it down, and the week after, one week before we take it down, then we need a week to put up." And I said, that's two weeks for every exhibition, and we have 12 exhibitions, so that means 24 weeks gone. My God, that is a, that's too much gone. So, uh, you know, now she's going to, you know, she's already started with that schedule of saying, okay, it takes two days to pull down an exhibition, two days to put it up, uh, put up a new one. And so that is, uh, that way we spend only four days downtime, and uh, with 12 exhibitions, that's only 12 into four, 48 days lost. The rest of the time, we have something wonderful uh, up in this space uh, and the one downstairs. And if we, if we are able to keep it going, um, what a terrific resource this is. And for this, I must thank Arthur. Um, really, Arthur. Uh, it's slowly, we can see the results of all your efforts uh, at, uh, at bringing drawing people into SEPT and saying, listen, 
we have to use this wonderful space that another alum has created for us and, uh, and use that space to uh, uh, create an opportunity for exposure, for seeing things, for, for celebrating great work. And we've had some wonderful exhibitions and all of them have been through the effort of Arthur going up there, pushing people. Uh, we are soon going to get, may I tell them about the Braj exhibition? Um, there's the KRVI uh, school, um, which is of course, uh, you know, it's a good school. Sonal teaches there. Uh, um, they, I, I uh, you know, we are going to get uh, some of their student work, wonderful student work that we have seen uh, presented here in, uh, in, the, in the, what shall we call it? in the triple height moat that Rahul has made. I call it moat, he calls it triple height. Together we call it triple height moat. Uh, <laughs> you know, he calls it triple, okay, triple height gallery is where we are going to exhibit this work. And that we yet another way in which we can use the space. Can we get other schools and their students to present their work here so that we can celebrate good work, learn from it and all together Remember that we are all in this together in some ways uh, for this thing. So that's, uh, uh, that's an exhibition. There's many others planned. I know there's a long list and many other exhibitions planned and, and you know, as we get going. One other ambition, Arthur, and I have talked about is perhaps take these exhibitions and set them up in, you know, create a network of galleries in the country, maybe one in Chennai, maybe one in Pune, where exhibitions that are ready here can be taken there next. In Pune, there could be Christopher's Gallery or there could be something else that you people think up. But we are in the search of, we are in the, uh, we, we, we want to create a network like this. If you have ideas, I'm sure Arthur will want to talk about uh, you know, how that can get going. So with that, uh, anything else I'm forgetting to say? Thank you, uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, and thank you once again, Sonal. Thank you, thank you, Rahul, for, for organizing this for us. Thank you very much, and we open up the place. Thank you. <laughs>